Hey, what's up guys? It's Presto569 Gaming here, coming right back at you guys with my thoughts on Fallout 76. I believe the game has a lot of potential, but has a lot of features that need to be implemented into the game correctly. First, some features that will not be in the game. The Fallout 76 devs stated that radio DJs will not be in Fallout 76, and this is very disappointing to me because Fallout DJs are like, a thing that just kind of brings the music and the game together. It's a part of the game that a lot of people like and I like too and it's a really sad feature that I wish we could have in Fallout 76. I mean, I don't even know if we're gonna have music in Fallout 76. Hopefully we do. I mean, we need the Country Roads song in there and you know, what else, you know, what, whatever other songs and all that. I mean, but if there's no radio DJ, you know, he doesn't report on, you know, current events or anything like that. You know, you know, from Three Dog, like he would report on like what the Brotherhood's doing. Uh, Mr. New Vegas would report on, you know, what's happening in the Mojave Wasteland and everything. Like, it, it just, it, it kind of, I don't know, Fallout without a radio DJ or, you know, even a radio just channel to listen to just I don't know if that's a fallout game and that's something that really need they, they need to think about before they release this game because that's a main feature of every fallout game and it's just what why not you know I guess yeah maybe it's he's an NPC or something but I mean half the time you can't even find the radio DJs so it's like I don't know it's, it's kind of weird and I'm really hoping maybe they change that before they release it or something but that's a sad feature that I really wish was in fallout 76 Another thing I don't really like about Fallout 76 is there will be no NPCs, no non-player characters, no companions, no nothing. I mean, that that's kind of weird because every Fallout game has had NPCs to talk to, to give quests, trade, um, just other things that, you know, real people can't really do. I mean, yeah, you can trade with people, but the, are you really going to, I don't even know if you can trade caps, I mean, you can trade, but, you know, they, they're not always going to accept, like, the traders in the game. I, I've seen traders, like, um, from, you know, gameplay footage from the Green Buyer event, and it, it just kind of seems like, I don't know, the only trader they could find was, like, a robot inside the Green Briar Hotel, so it's, it, it's kind of weird, and I, 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 they need traders, they need NPCs, they need, you know, people to give quests. I, it's just, I don't know, it's kind of weird because NPCs always have, like, feelings, personality, their opinions on the factions in the game and things like that. And I don't know, I haven't even seen any players talk in Fallout 76. Like, the player that you play as, like, I haven't even seen any of them talk. They just do, like, uh, emotes and stuff like that. Like, I don't even know if they have a voice or anything like that. So, I, I don't even know. Um, it's just... I don't know, it's weird, and I mean, if they can somehow implement no NPCs in the game and still make the game fun and enjoyable and work, then, you know, all, there you go, good job, but, like, I really, I don't know if I see this working out very well. Now, here are some things I like about Fallout 76. I absolutely love the setting. West Virginia is such an open and beautiful state. Mountains, plains, the valley in between, and it's just, it's a beautiful state, and there's, I mean, and it, in the game and everything, it doesn't even look like it's ever been even touched by any nukes. What, what my theory is here, my theory is the nukes in-game that haven't been launched yet, that you can launch at each other and stuff that a lot of people really don't like. I, I kind of like that. It's kind of cool. But, I mean, yeah, you, someone could, you know, constantly just bomb your house or whatever. But there's a limited number of nukes. I think there's only, like, five in the entire game or like in every server or whatever i don't know how it's gonna work but you know yeah i don't know they kind of seem cool to me but um i i think what my theory is is the nukes are gonna go and everyone's gonna launch at each other and then it's gonna turn into a place kind of like fallout 4 where it's all destroyed and stuff and most of the trees are dead and broken and i really want to see like do they have like a unique because you can launch a nuke anywhere, and it's supposedly you know it creates a crater and everything's destroyed and new monsters spawn there but like what if you launch a nuke at like a quest location and the person can't access the quest anymore because they blew it up? So there's a lot of unanswered questions and maybe when the beta comes out, I think that's tomorrow or the day after that, um, maybe a lot of these questions will be answered, but uh, I, I don't know how all that's going to work. I mean, they, they, they got to really pull, pull off a miracle to make this game work at this point. Another thing I really liked about Fallout 76 was... Um, it, the roads, how like you navigate everything on the roads, because when you look at the map and stuff like that, the map is much more colorful and it's more, it looks dynamic 
because like the Fallout 4 map is just like this big huge square and it's just like green icons everywhere and it's not very like you know creative or anything like that and it's just generic icons for like all the places and there's a few special ones like sanctuary hills or the castle and stuff but everything else is just the same it's hard to tell where you're going but it looks like the fallout 76 map is very detailed and beautiful and it's it's different from any other fallout map really um it's just it, i don't know it's something about that map is really nice it's just like how you can see the roads and see the road numbers and like interstates and like everything like that it's just i, I really like that i think that's very cool because it's just like you you can just drive or not drive but like walk i guess i don't know <laughs> they might even add cars why not um motorcycles would be kind of cool but um yeah i mean it's just it, yeah I, I don't know i just i love roads i think they're pretty cool like the interstates and stuff and i think it'd be cool to like go and and travel the roads of the wasteland and west virginia and stuff and and like you know yeah you could walk out in the middle of nowhere but you can like stay on these highways and stuff and you meet other players on the highways and stuff like that i think that would be very cool it's a very cool feature that they really added into the game there another thing is i really like the camps where you can just build a settlement like anywhere because you could like there's a lot of places in fallout 4 i, I wish i could build a settlement but there's no settlement location there um just like you know i love to build a settlement in the middle of like a train yard or like right next to a train or something like that to say i just i really like trains and i think they're pretty cool so I, you know it would be fantastic to build settlements anywhere that i really love that feature of the camp system and all that that is just that's fantastic as i said before though fallout 76 that theme song from the trailer country roads by john denver Boom, that is a killer right there. That really brought in most of the attention for this game and, you know, country roads memes all over the place. And it's just, it's such a good song and it really fits well with the game, like the 50s and I guess it's the 70s now tone. They've kind of changed from the 50s to the 70s. And I think that's pretty cool because it's more colorful and stuff like color television and all that. And, you know, Fallout 76 was actually, um, there, there's an Easter egg in Fallout 4 in the beginning part when you're in your house and stuff if you go listen to the tv for a long time then it'll he'll like the tv guy he'll like talk about like oh yeah fall vault 76 tricentennial it's opening today blah, 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 blah. so it's actually an easter egg to the next game so i like that it's pretty cool but um yeah i just I, I really love that that song it really brings a lot of stuff in i'm really just hoping the song is actually in the game and not just a trailer or something like that because the song i would just play that on a loop 10 hour edition you know, sitting there playing Fallout 76, Country Roads, such a fantastic song. I also kind of like how they brought back condition and for armor and weapons because I, that, that's, it's kind of cool to me because, you know, that's a feature from an older game that they're bringing back and a lot of people complain that that wasn't in Fallout 4 and stuff, but personally for me, I didn't really like that feature of Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas because you had to constantly like spend caps repairing or like doing stuff like that or finding a second one of that weapon or you know, repairing it, I don't know, I just didn't like that whole thing, and I kind of liked it in Fallout 4, how you could just take one weapon and just use it all throughout the game, because I, 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 that just kind of seemed fantastic to me, just, you just, like, you just get that weapon, you don't have to worry about repairing or anything, you just gotta make sure you have ammo for it and stuff, and, you know, I guess it's more realistic if it breaks down and stuff, but, I mean, this is a Fallout game, you know, you're launching nukes all over the place, is it really realistic? I don't know, but... I, I don't really like that they brought back condition, but it's good that they're bringing back things from older games, because the older games are very good. Now for the elephant in the room. Multiplayer. I believe it could be enjoyable to play a Fallout game with your friends, but it is a pretty big leap of faith for Bethesda. Let me tell you a story about one of my favorite games, game series really, of all time. Sim City was a fantastic game series back in the day. Sim City 4 was one of my favorite games, probably right behind. I mean, it probably goes Burnout Paradise, Sim City 4, Fallout 4. They, you know, just Sim City 4 was such a fantastic game. You just go around, you build cities, and but it, you know, it's this isometric type of view. It's not 3D like most modern games today. You know, it was made back in 2003. I mean, that's like the year I was born. That's pretty crazy. It's like as old as me, but um, I just yeah. I, like, when SimCity 5 was coming out in 2013, I don't really... That game was good, but the multiplayer ruined it. Maxis, the company who makes SimCity and Spore and all those other games, they were making SimCity 5 under EA's, you know, view or whatever. And they were making that game 
single player. They were making it good single player because that is the way SimCity should be played. And you know, they're like, well, this is how it's always been. This is how the fans like it. Let's how let's you know let's make it like this. And they they completed the game and all that. And they got this close to releasing it, and EA is like, oh, you know, they come out of nowhere, oh, multiplayer is the future, we gotta make this game multiplayer, buh, 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 buh. How do you make a multiplayer game out of a single player game, and it, it, it ruined the game series. Maxis is now shut down, the game company is gone, their employees got merged into EA, the big huge microtransaction giant. And they're just part of the EA, EA company now. They it, Sim City Five ruined them, and it was it wasn't even their fault. It was EA's fault for making them make it multiplayer. The servers never worked. The game always crashed. There was a limit on how big your cities could be because they didn't want to have everyone have connection issues and just stuff like that. It just it ruined the entire game series. And City Skylines is now swooped in and saved the day. I don't know. I like City Skylines. It's a very good game. And it's it's like the Sim City that we never had. It's a single player, you know, just good game. But it's I don't know. The only thing I don't like about it is it's kind of European styled and I'm not European. I'm American. And I like Sim City because it was American. And now I see this European, but it's a really good city game, but it's European styled. It's kind of weird to me, but it's still a good game after everything. But um, I, I just, I worry that this might be the wrong path for Fallout. I worry that this could turn Fallout, you know, Bethesda and all them into Maxis. Being, you know, I just, I don't want this to be the, the Fallout E.T. E.T. was a failing game series. It almost put the entire gaming, you know, world really into bankruptcy, like, Back in the day, it, they're all buried in New Mexico now, but that game almost sent the entire video game industry into the ground. Got that close. And, and I mean, I'm not saying Fallout 76 is going to do that by any long shot or anything like that, but they need to be careful, Bethesda does, when they make this game, and they need to be sure that this is the path they want to go down before it's too late.